Recently, we lost a longtime employee um, to brain cancer. Is that a smile or was that a growl? <laughs> Mutt played a huge role at our warehouse and for Villalobos, period. He earned his nickname Mutt for a reason. Like, he loved dogs so much, more than anything. This freaking ham over <laughs> here. Mutt's death came so suddenly, so unexpected. It just caught us so off guard. He was addicted to dogs. That's just the best way to describe it. There is not a day that goes by that Mutt's name is not spoken of. Mutt lives in every one of our dogs. So we got the very unique opportunity to honor his memory with a very special adoption to Mutt's family. Hi! And honestly, it couldn't be more fitting. Nice, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. So today we're meeting with Jonathan and Suzanne and their two kids. These adopters are really special to us because they're Mutt's brother and sister-in-law. They are here to meet a dog that Mutt actually really wanted them to adopt. Aww. To Mutt's family, he is Elon, but we all know him as a Mutt. That's who he came to us as, and that's who he is. Come here. Give me a hug. Mutt was close to all of us, but I think that he was definitely closest to Elise, so we really want to make sure that she's a part of all of this. <laughs> so good for me. You and I are going to cry together. Yes. <laughs> we came down here because my brother, Elon, uh, worked here for a number of years, and it really was the job that brought him the biggest happiness I'd ever seen in him. So it was a natural fit that this is where we wanted to have a, a new family member from. Um, do you guys want to go over to the Flamingo? Sure. That'd be sure. Great. Okay, cool. Have a lovely right. rain. We all are excited about getting a new dog, and I just know that Elon is going to be so happy that one more dog has found a home. There's like so many people that come in and out of our gates, you know, and there are certain people that leave, you know, impressions on you, and he's definitely one. He was always so willing to help, and he was eager to, to please and be there for all of us and for our dogs. He's just like, he's the best person ever. He's a blessing. Yeah. 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 He helped a whole lot. He was one of the most compassionate, sensitive, caring, like, perfect people I've like, ever met in my entire life. Um, everything he did was for everybody else, never for himself. He gave me this when my dog passed away. Yeah. And... He showed that thoughtfulness that you wouldn't expect, mm -hmm. you know? Like, that was you know, his but, gift. Like, the exterior, exactly. but you that know, you know that you can't ever judge it. He was one of those people through life and through death you knew was always there. This made him, you know, it gave him the confidence, it gave him the happiness, you know, a true purpose in life and, and yeah. it really was special to him. So that's why it's so special to us and when he told us about, you know, Sweetheart. Before Mutt passed away, a dog named Sweetheart came to us as an owner surrender. And right when Mutt met her, he said that he thought his brother and his family would love her. She had come to us, you know, in really bad shape, and the owners had just dumped her because she had cancer in, in her ear. And it wasn't curable. And we found a vet that was like, you know what, I think I can fix this. And they did her ear, and um, she's a miracle. Like, she should not be here today, and she's doing fantastic. When he first got diagnosed, um, I had just started fostering Sweetheart. He would just ask me all the time, send me pictures of her, send me pictures of her, and he would send them to Jonathan and Suzanne. And it's so special because of that. Really excited to meet Sweetheart. Just the excitement of seeing her, seeing if she's interested in us, and you know, are we a good fit for her? And how did she get along with the kids? Are you ready to meet her? Very ready. We okay, are ready? excited. We've been excited to see Sweetheart, so it's kind of a big day. Hi. 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 <laughs> yeah, hi. What do you think? Good. Very good, huh? When Sweetheart walked through the door, it was just so exciting. She just 
comes in and just is sweet and interested, comes over to everybody. Hi. She's not an over the top. Yeah. As soon as she walked in the door, it was kind of that immediate connection with her. <laughs> it smiled. Yeah. She smiled. She smiled. Oh, yeah, she's checking you out. <laughs> Hi. So we smiled. It was a good smile, huh? She's happy. Hi. You like how she's calm? This that's is her. Your, that's your pace, huh? All the time. She comes in and she greets everybody and she stops to get, you know, her head scratched. And I just can envision her in our home doing that same exact thing. If you see, um, oh, oh yeah, she yeah. has no ear. No pouch, yeah. Like, cause her cancer, it was completely wow. down into the eardrum. Can she hear, or on that I side? I mean, or? out of the other ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah, she want to hear you? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she can hear out of the other ear. There's something special about this story, about this dog, the fact that both Elon and Sweet Tart had cancer, the fact that Elon knew of Sweet Tart before he passed away, it definitely just seems like there might be a special connection with us and this dog. When I was given Sweet Tart a hug for the first time, you know, I just felt like that yeah, this is my brother telling me that this is the right decision and I'm glad you're here and I was glad that he connected us. When can she come home? <laughs> I mean, are we official? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweetheart is the best dog because she was nice and kind and fluffy. I liked her color. I think Elon wants us to have Nova. I think he would be so thrilled. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was really excited about this happening when, when we first talked about it, and so I'm glad that we can make this happen today. Yeah. It means the world to me to be here today, and it's just special, and it, it, it means something I know every time I'll, I'll see our doggy that would be another reminder of my brother. All right, Tart, I'm gonna go put you back, and then we're gonna come see Get you. Get out of here. You know, Mutt specifically really wanted to make this happen, and it became his mission to set Jonathan and Suzanne up. And apparently, that mission worked. All right. Uh, okay. well, thank you, guys. Oh my gosh. Thank, thank you, you so best. much. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, we can't you. wait. I know for Mutt's family, you try and hold on to anything that you can hold on to. And she has a bit of Mutt in her, you know, and they'll get to have that for the rest of her life.